In my recent video, I asked which is the better conductor between aluminium cable and you know pure copper cable. Uh, you know, sorry to disappoint you all. The answer to that question is aluminium cable. Yes, when it comes to direct current, because most of the time when we talk about direct current, we are talking about low voltage. We're not talking about. Let's not talk about the the, the voltage from your solar panels now, because once you generate like you know two hundred and twenty volt DC. It will be capable of powering your uh, alternating current appliances. I know you may have not tried it out, but you can also try it out. Now, if we're talking about 12 volt, 24 volt, or 48 volt, the best cable to transmit that to a far distance is aluminium. In a way, in Africa, we don't believe that a black man should do a discovery. It's better a white man. So when we bring it up, a lot of argument will come up. But anyway, argument is very good because that's how we learn. Science itself is all about argument which brings about invention, innovation, stuff like that. Yeah. So the best cable to transmit direct current to a far distance is aluminium. And I think the reason is because of the heating point of both materials. When it comes to pure copper, pure copper heats faster compared to aluminium. Now, when you are dealing with direct current, you know that you'll be, you know, uh, moving a huge amount of current from one point to another. Yes. So due to that, copper will fail because of the heat it will generate and we all believe that once there is heat there will be loss of voltage or loss of power so aluminium doesn't heat as fast as pure copper which is the reason why if you use aluminium to transport or transmit uh, direct current to a far distance it will withstand the reason why i brought up this is because of what we are doing those days where we wire the whole house for direct current appliances that's where the person will have direct current bulb direct current fan direct current tv we were using pure copper initially. Then we discovered that if we transmit the electricity to a far distance, some people say it's a fake, uh, it's a fake uh, pure copper. So I don't know whether it's fake box. We all know that CBEST, when CBEST came out new, they were one of the best in producing pure copper. Yeah, we all know that. So sometimes we use this pure copper. And once we transmit the ele electricity to a far distance of let's say 15 meters, the appliances in that very room or that very point we no longer work very well so we decided to use digital multimeter to check what was going on at the battery point for example if you have 14.0 when you move to that 15 meters you will now be having like 12.0 a loss yes two votes lost so you know it became a headache until we ask somebody that have been into the system for longer and say, ah, you guys are wasting money just go and get aluminium cable and mind you at times we use 4 mm at times we even use 10 mm 10 mm pure copper and we still get disappointed but there is this uh, aluminium cable 4 mm that we use is a single core not a uh, strand single core when you have 14.0 at your battery point if you like take it to 50 meters you still have your 14.0 that's your aluminium for you and that's the and the reason is because aluminium doesn't heat up fast now the disadvantage of aluminium is with time it gets dried like very very dried that's the disadvantage but when it comes to transmitting direct current to a far distance, common cap for aluminium. So like I've told you my reason why that was happening is due to the heating point of both materials. So when it comes to direct current, aluminium is the best. So sorry to disappoint you all. You can go to the market, buy cable, do the research yourself because some of you coming out to say it's pure copper any day, anywhere, everywhere, you guys have not even tried it out before. Some of us have tried it out and that's why we have confidence to tell you that Aluminium cable is the best when it comes to transmitting direct current to a far distance. Pure copper will disappoint you. Yeah. And also, sorry to disappoint you. When it comes to electricity in general, pure copper is not the best. Have you tried silver? Try silver and thank me later. Yes. Because some of you believe it's pure copper. No, sir. No, ma. Silver is the best. The best of best is silver. Because I see some of you saying the best is pure copper, the best in electricity is pure copper. No, sir. No, ma. It's silver. Sorry to disappoint you.